This week's At The Movies Devo is for Maverick, the long anticipated part two of Top Gun. A major theme in the story is forgiveness. And I believe one of the most powerful scenes with one of the most convicting lines is not even spoken. It's when Maverick's friend Ice types the words on the screen, let it go, let it go. But let's admit it, it's hard for us to let it go. Oftentimes we get stuck in our past. Paul, the apostle, he knows about this. Remember at one time he's hunting down, he's persecuting Christ followers. But then he has a personal encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus. And this encounter transforms his life. He becomes one of the greatest advocates for the power of love and the grace of Jesus in all of history. But imagine how Paul was haunted by the memories of everything that he's done. He certainly could have been, because every time he runs into Christ followers, they don't want to have anything to do with him. And so he's constantly forced to face the pain of his past. And we understand how those people would feel, right? How would we feel if Paul killed one of our family members just for following Jesus? Well, Paul says, hey, guess what? I'm not like that anymore. I've changed and I'm sure people are going right. So it's a lot for him to carry. So Paul describes the change in his life because of Jesus. And he says, I'm becoming a more mature, a more loving person. Now he's quick to add, I'm not there yet, so I keep on following Jesus forward. And then he adds these amazing words that we need to hear today. It's in Philippians chapter three. He says, I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the end of the race. You can't look ahead if you're still holding on to what's behind. And I think this is the dilemma that many of us find ourselves in. We can't forget the person who hurt us, the circumstance that changed us, the event that wounded us. So today I'm asking, what are you still carrying that you need to let go? Remember Jesus, he's the one who carried our sins, our hurts to the cross so that we can let go of our sins. We can let go of our regrets. In fact, he says it is finished so that you and I can find forgiveness and freedom. So I'm pleading with you, for your sake, for God's sake, let it go. Amen?